In a remote village in Zimbabwe, a family is mourning the loss of their daughter, who was brutally murdered by her husband in a cross-border crime. This is the story of Sibonakaliso Fozane, a 38-year-old mother of four, who was stabbed to death by her husband, born Yesaya, on the night of 11 August 2023. Sibonagaliso and Bon had been married for 15 years, but their relationship was troubled by accusations of witchcraft and domestic violence. Bon, who hailed from Madambuzi in Plumtree, Matebrenen, South Province, believed that his wife had bewitched him and caused him to suffer from various ailments. On the fateful night, Bon lured his wife to his sister's place in Maitengu area in Bulilima close to Botswana under the pretext that they wanted to resolve their dispute. However, upon arrival, Bon's sister, Kelina Isaya, unexpectedly started attacking Sbonakaliso with stones, causing her to fall to the ground. Seizing this opportunity, Bon viciously attacked his wife with a sword before stabbing her 10 times all over her body. After the frenzied stabbing, Bon and his sister then dragged Sbonakaliso across the border into Botswana, where they forced her to sit down before they stabbed her twice in the throat with a knife. Following this horrific act, Bon returned home to his village and threatened to kill his children, his brother and his brother's wife before he hanged himself. But he was stopped from committing this cowardly act by members of the community. Consumed by guilt, Bon reportedly went to the Botswana police and confessed to killing his wife. He allegedly led the authorities to the crime scene where he was subsequently arrested. Shockingly, he was released from police custody after two days and he came back home to Zimbabwe. Meanwhile, after his release, Bon, seemingly unaffected by his heinous actions, was seen at his home and drinking as if nothing had happened. It was something which did not go down well with Sibonakaliso's family, who witnessed someone who had murdered their daughter walking freely without facing any consequences of his actions. Narrating this incident, family spokesperson Kilton Fuzane said that they were enduring immense pain and frustration as they were waiting for justice for their daughter. He said that the Zimbabwean police claimed jurisdictional limitations due to the fact that the incident occurred across the border in Botswana. He said that they were pleading for the necessary paperwork and coordination between the Botswana authorities and the Zimbabwean authorities to ensure that Bon will be arrested and tried. The wheels of justice in the brutal murder of Sibona Kaliso finally started turning following the arrest of Bon and his subsequent appearance in court. He was charged with murder and remanded in custody on the 13th of October 2023. The magistrate advised him to apply for bail at the High Court. Will Subona Kalis's family finally get justice that they deserve? Will Bon be held accountable for his heinous crime considering that he committed the crime in Botswana? These are the questions that will haunt this tragic case of domestic violence 